Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to share with you today some visions that the Lord has given me. He's given me a gift of visions. So I wanted to share one with you. It does have to do with angels. It has, it's pretty awesome. Um, anyhow, I'm going to dive right into it. I saw two angels standing before Jesus on a golden throne. They were high up in heaven. Each, each angel had a large golden pitcher with a silver handle. Then they, bego they both started to pour from the vessels. It was water, blood, oil, and fire, all mixed together like a braided rope. They poured straight down to the earth and landed in the middle of the church sanctuary. It then began to flow out. The people in the church were praising God and standing on the blood, oil, water, and fire. It washed below their feet. It was below their feet. A vast field surrounded the church. The people started walking out, in, out of the church. The blood, oil, water, and fire was just behind them. Next I saw them walking in front of a tunnel. It was about 12 feet across and 12 feet high. The walls of the tunnel were made of angels. The roof arch was also made of solid angels. The tunnel followed the people and was right behind them every step of the way. Then they started to come across people in the field. They began lifting the people up so they could walk on top of the blood, oil, water, and fire with them. Then the new people started to follow the blood, oil, water, and fire back to the church, going through the tunnel of angels. It was full of brilliant light. As they got to where the blood, water, oil, and fire streamed from heaven, there appeared a spiral staircase just inside. They walked onto it and were completely submerged in the blood, oil, water, and fire. Then they began to walk up the staircase. Suddenly, outside, a strong wind began to blow and formed into a white cloud. Then it began to swirl and, 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 and wind up the outside of the blood, oil, water, and fire. As the people came to the top and stepped out of the stream of blood, oil, fire, and water, they immediately had on ro white robes washed by the blood of the Lamb. They were standing in front of the throne of Jesus, raising their hands and praising Him. The Lord inspired me after He gave me a lot of visions, and it's just a gift. You know, I don't corner the market on it. There's other people that have them. We all have gifts, unique gifts. We need to use our gifts that Jesus has given us. Um, Jesus being at the center, then the gifts and callings will follow. So, he inspired me to write a book. He told me to write a book. So I sat down and started typing in the computer. Uh, and, you know, it became book form. It's called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. You can get a free copy. Email steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. Send you a free copy. I won't keep your email address. I won't keep any of your address. I won't send you any more junk. That's it. I'll just send you a copy of the book. If you want to buy it, it's not available on Amazon or on Kindle. But the Lord has inspired me to write these, and it's just a tool to get you closer to Him, to get you closer to Jesus, to just give you a little bit of insight in the spiritual realm of the day that we're living in. God designed this day for mankind. Jesus was His ultimate plan for the salvation of mankind. That, that, that was His goal, to save mankind, to set mankind free. So He sent His only begotten Son so He could carry the sins of the world to those that believe. That's one of the keys. You have to believe. You have to accept Jesus into your heart. You have to let him be ruler and king and lord over your heart. You know, read the rest of it. It's not It's not a good outcome to those that don't believe. Jesus, want, Jesus wants to be the center of your life. And when we put Jesus first, you won't have all this other political, news media crap. It's on the internet too. Crap. Jesus isn't at the center. Do you hear about Jesus in any of it? Very, very, very little. You know, my wife went to a march in Washington, and there was over 500 Christians that went to this march. 500,000 women that went to this march. No media coverage of it. None. Zippo. D a donut. They were on Washington Square preaching in the name of Jesus with loudspeakers and big video TVs, and everybody was all about Jesus, talking about Jesus. They didn't cover it. 
because that's what the world, the world doesn't want to hear about Jesus. It's time we put Jesus at the center and then watch America change. That's the, t that's the reason I got the title of the book. Please look at some of my other videos. Look at the one about the election, the vision after the election. It's pretty awesome and cool. Kind of give you a little bit more insight. I'm going to kind of cut this short. So, anyhow, please tune in. Watch my other videos. Put likes, dislikes on them, comments on them. Share them with other people. Thanks for listening. God bless you. And the quality of these videos are going to get a little bit better. So you want to look at my ugly mug. I got a friend that's going to help me do some things. Movie Maker is one of them. And I'm going to try to you know, boost up the quality of the video. So I apologize for that. I've just been doing it on a web camera. I will get better at it. Just the content is awesome. Video may not be. But anyhow, thanks for listening. God bless you. Y'all have a great and wonderful day.